Now, hmm. Now that we've got that. Now that we've got Aurora. Let's go back to the deep jungle real fast and finish off what we need to do there. Because we're gonna go we're gonna go to the tunnels. And then we're gonna go back to the treehouse. And that will take us up there. So if there's stop people there, then we did not do anything for nothing. So I'm just I'm just hoping we played our cards right this time because I just would rather not have to go back to this area very many times. And so if we're good enough and to get 100 hits in, which I don't think is likely considering Aurora and our... We don't have Ragnarok yet. We're probably not going to do a very good job on getting a bunch of techs on it, guy, but, you know, for this... You know, for the most part, I think we'll be fine. And if Donald and Goofy start attacking him, we'll actually lose part of our multiplier, which makes things a little bit annoying. But fortunately, unless you direct them to attack it, then it won't even matter. Am I going in the right place? Yes, I am. Okay, so we'll run back over here. And this is also a really good place to get Mystery Goo, is those stupid uh, power wilds and stuff like that. They're really annoying. So, please let there be white mushrooms. Please let there be white mushrooms. Please let there be white mushrooms. There's no white mushrooms! God damn it, we did that all for nothing! Urgh. Okay, of course. So we'll just come back here later. I was looking so forward to doing it, that's why I went and left. So we can get Aurora, so that we can get some extra hits in when we have Arrow up. Jesus Christ. Oh, fantastic. So, Power Shard, whatever. Don't care. Oh, you are a big disappointment game. Really? Really? You went through all the trouble of putting them there that one time. And they usually are here. Ugh. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave and then come back and see if that activates them. Because that is unacceptable. I did not go out of my way for nothing. And I'll just cut it. I'll just show you guys. So, here we've got the Mithril. Uh, mithril. Okay, good. I was going to say Mithril Shard, maybe. But it seems like Mithril would be the more rarer of the items. And then, okay, I'll just meet you guys here in just a moment and we can expire together, I suppose. Okay, so so he wasn't there, so I just decided to just uh, skip that because you guys don't need to see me not do anything for two minutes. I mean, it already took itself long enough to freaking load itself here at the same time. It's like, Christ. Anyway, here we are, uh, back at the Agaraba, and we're actually going to have to go to both sides of the planet, so let's go ahead off, let's start with Aladdin's house. There's that one that was off in the distance before, and that might be Dalmatians, but I don't recall exactly. And I think at this point we've actually collected all the chests here, regardless. Um, the only reason why we would need to go to the Cave of Wonders is to get that last Trinity mark, so it's just more or less a matter of preference at this point. Whoa, that was kind of a weird perspective change there, I suppose. Um, so let's go ahead back over to the palace entrance, even though we can't usually go in there and just go kill these ass assholes. There we go. Okay, very nice. So if we run over here, and then we can just climb up from the left side. Ooh, if that chest game is here, the jar game, it is here. Ooh, ooh, this, this game is amazing. Okay, so there's apparently a trick to this. Whatever one you can't move is the one that has the stupid, this thing is going to be the one that has the thing. Okay, so that's just, that's just a point of reference that I felt the need to make. Um, I don't think anyone's explicitly said it quite yet, but that's, that's pretty much what you have to do here. So you do that, and then we got the scorpion spider, and um, can we not attack it yet? Or Okay, there it is. So basically what you have to do is just guard against him to get him to be, imp uh, you know, open to us. And you know what? I fucking forgot to do something. We're supposed to... We're supposed to do something to make him drop a rare item right before we start, but I completely forgot what it was. But um, let's go ahead and just guard him when he starts attacking with his pincers, and that'll knock him on his back, in which case we can finally just... just ugh, there we go. And then we can go ahead and get in a combo or two. God damn it, stupid dark thing. Yeah, completely breaking our combo here. Yeah, the stupid dark things are hell to breaking your combo. So, ugh, there we go. All right, there we go. And let's take him out. Ugh, damn it, one more was all we needed. Uh, so, yeah, he's not really that hard, and he doesn't really give us that much experience, but he's just really kind of annoying in how he attacks us and how we attack him, and I got darkness, which is why... Oh, there it is. All right, let's kill this asshole once and for all. Ugh, there we go. We got Mithril Stone? We got a Mithril Stone out of that. That is amazing. Okay, I'll, I'll take the Mithril Stone. I think Mithril Stone is what we were going for anyway, but still... So that's how you do that. If anyone said it at this point, just I'm just saying at the time of this recording, that's how that happens. But uh, nobody said anything since I, you know, I get so few comments that it's just kind of I, I read all of them. We got Osmos G, Osmos G, really? <laughs> Out of everything we can get, it was the Osmos G. Oh, fantastic. Anyway, let's go. Actually, 
I'm half tempted just to leave the world and then come back instead of going all the way on the carpet and then all the way back and then doing all of that. So let's go do that actually because I don't want to have to deal with going through the entire area. And so the last time we went there, what did we do? When we went back to go grab that elixir that I missed before, as well as the other chest that I do believe had, uh, what, it did it have Dalmatians in it or something? You can glide to that. It's the one I used a barrel to get to. You can use a barrel to get there. But I used, um, I used the barrel, not the glide. You can grab that now. A lot easier with the thing. But I guess the only thing we're really going there for is the yellow trinity, and that would be number three, correct? Or that would be the last one, wouldn't it? Because we got the one in... No, yeah, we got the one in Traverse Town in the Magician's area. This is the last one that we're getting, and then we're almost done here. Fantastic. This is this is amazing. As we're making like strides with this, and Hollow Bastion is gonna be like the last place where we're getting our Trinity marks too. Like we still haven't gotten all the blue or red ones yet, or even hell the green ones. I think there's one more there too. No, oh, excuse me. But now that we're here, let's go head up into the hall, which I don't know. Oh, it's right over here, right? Yes, the hall, the Hall of Wonders, ladies and gentlemen, the Hall of Wonderment, Wonderment. What am I listening to right now? Oh, it's a remix! It's a No Doubt remix! Ah, nobody reminded me to take No Doubt off of my freaking phone. How dare you guys! How dare you! Actually, I think somebody probably did, but how dare you! How dare you not ask? Alright, Gravira would probably be good on this asshole. Gravira is amazing on this, and especially later on. So, like, look at this. Alright, he's gonna not die yet because it doesn't usually kill them. Unless it's Graviga, or Graviga. Alright. Yes, Vera Graviga. <laughs> God, these air soldiers are still really annoying, though. So anyway, we've got ourselves this right here. going to Trinity mark the hell out of this. And I have no idea what point this is for, because all it does is lets us get to a chest we've already done before. So with our magic dancing phalanges, we have won the spirit game and stuff. So we've collected everything in here, I believe. So I guess we can go and leave. Let's leave. Let's leave. Nothing else for us in Agrava, like literally. There's one more Trinity mark. I... Well, no, there isn't. What am I smoking? We'll come back here later. You guys will see what I mean. And I'm trying to think. Now we can go to Halloween Town. And because something happened, then we can now do that. I'm trying to I'm trying to think, though, because I know I'm missing something. I'm missing something so obvious. I know I screwed up the Dalmatian things. I went back to the Dalmatians way too soon. And, uh, but no big deal. We'll go to Halloween Town. Oh, oh yeah, and then we can see if that boss was here over in the manor remains because it wasn't there last time. And so we can double check this time. And if he's there, then everything will not have been for n for not. We'll we'll find a lot of crap here, so don't even worry about it. Also, we'll get some screen time with Goofy being his goofy self and his uh, scary costume. So yeah, by the time you guys see this, I think Halloween will be long gone. Like that'll be old news bears for everyone. But hey, it's almost Halloween time for us, and I don't know what I was even thinking of being. Like I've already seen people on Facebook and stuff already start coming up with their designs and stuff, which is just ridiculous because it's like seriously. Like I saw like two relatively chubby girls dress up as sexy quote unquote uh, Walter White and Jesse Pinkman, which is kind of a silly thing because that just is wrong. Ah, God, I need to. Uh, I don't know where I saw it though. Like, I like I know somebody I know was tagged in it, but they weren't in it, and it was just kind of a random thing because I don't know. I because like they're not people from around here, and so I would have to like look at my history or something. So yeah, we've got some extra stuff here because you guys didn't notice. And elixir. Okay, very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually we still got the metal choke but I'm gonna fall through and keep using that for a little bit. What am I? What was I just gonna do? Oh yeah, items. Duh. All right, so we'll go ahead and use the power up on Mr. Uh, Sora here. All right, there we go. Very nice. All right, and I suppose what we could do is head off back towards the graveyard because on the Moonlight Hill there's actually a door that's now open to us, which is good for us because we need we need that thing open. <laughs> and I don't know when it activates. Oh, I swear to God, if there's mushrooms here, I'm gonna punch something like hard. All right, all right, thank God. Ugh. But unfortunately, there's enemies, which doesn't make things any easier because now we gotta kill them in order to actually progress through. So here we are back at Halloween Town, ladies and gentlemen. So going back to people dressing up as idiots. Um, contrary to that, there are actually some very, very uh, creative um, costumes that people are making that I've seen. I can't think of any so far. Like things that they make with their kids and stuff. It's just like awesome seeing how creative can be. But then, you know, there's got to be, like, a sexy version of everything, which is just ridiculous to me, I think. I don't know. 
And of course, I'm not going to dress up this year. I have, I don't think there's been a year where I haven't made an attempt to do anything. Oh, God, Black Fungus is the worst. Okay, so basically, okay, so I haven't really gone into much detail about these guys since we only fought them in the Coliseum. But basically, to make them drop a mystery goo or something, you have to hit them at the end of a combo chain. And it does not help that they turn to stone, as they do there. Like, you gotta hit them at the end of a combo chain with a critical hit, might I add. And they're gonna be constantly poisoning us. Oh, God, these guys are so annoying. So these aren't your best bet for getting certain uh, special items, you know. But uh, at least they're here. So if you want to come back here and try for it, they don't drop anything that can be found by anything else. Damn it. So just keep in mind, you're gonna need a lot of lucky strikes in order to get this going. So why do you keep attacking him? All right, so can we please, this thing doesn't even give us critical hits, does it? Well, whatever. So they're all dead now. We can now go through this area right here, and this will just take us to kind of a one-off little <laughs> transportation device. And I think that just happens after Neverland because um, I didn't try it when we were here the first time, but I don't know when the first is, the first time you can activate it is, so. That's just me. So there's a couple other chests around here, which is kind of interesting because there's just a lot of crap. Oh, we got scissors there, another very stoic item. Holy gee. How did we get that? I didn't think we would be able to get here, and then the last two should be right next to each other. So I can't find them for some reason. My vision's starting to get a little blurry because I'm really freaking tired. Alright, so here's another one. And if it's not Dalmatians, okay, good. Then I think that might have been the last one. Oh, never mind. Right here. <laughs> I got these in the worst possible order, so go ahead and blame me for everything. We've got Raise of Dark Matter! Okay, so let's get out of here, which is the one I came in through, this one right here. So now we can just continue onwards. And we'll go back to Oogie's Manor and see what we can do there. Fantastic stuff. So yeah, my mom is going with my sister, and she is going to be... I don't know what she's going to be. I don't know if they decided yet. It's still kind of early to be like, oh yeah, but like, you, it's like a surprising amount of people are already working on their costumes. So, I don't know. That might just be me, but... Ooh, get out of the way. Ugh. Um... I think she says she wants to be a cat, so I don't know. I was thinking about what I'd be, I was like, I have no idea, I would be nothing, I'm just gonna sit home, try and sleep through my dog barking at all the fucking people coming to the door, ringing, my dog's just an idiot like that, he's gonna bark at everything. It's like, dude, there's nothing there. I mean, there's clearly things there, but nothing that needs to be barked at for five freaking hours. And it's just really annoying, so I don't know, I'll try and sleep through that. I'll knock myself out with melatonin and NyQuil and give myself a brain aneurysm. Like that one episode of uh, <laughs> a Twilight Princess where I like passed out, where I like stopped for a minute. It was like in the mansion and I like took some melatonin and NyQuil right before I recorded it. And then I was just like, oh my god. So there's Donald. All right, let's see. Is there any enemies down here? Because if there is, then... <gasps> oh, is he here? Is he here? Okay, there's enemies here. That's one thing. But is the enemy here that I want to fight? Okay, treasure magnet. I saw Goofy got an MP gift. It's okay for one MP. He can give three MPs to someone else. Okay, he sh I don't know if he's going to even show up here. Maybe he might. Maybe he might not. But we'll, we'll see. Because, uh, did somebody just cast arrow? Oh, never mind. I thought someone did. All right. Ugh. Mm, out of here, man. All right, Lucid Gem. At least we're getting those. Don't turn blue. Don't. <gasps> here he is. Okay, this guy. I don't know what he's called, but this guy's kind of a fun guy to fight because he gives us a lot of shit, and I just took him out way too fast. Maybe not. So he's got it. Oh, never mind. There he goes. So you deflect those Trinities back at him. You get a bunch of tech. If you can combo them, especially. Look at right there. We got like 50 for just one, or 30, 20, 10. And then he's got a couple of um, different things. I'm going to cast Aurora right now. And then there we go. There we go. And so now we can start doing a little bit of the damage to him. All right, he's going to spawn more enemies. Very nice. Okay, so this is the guy that usually shows up after Oogie's Manor, but for some reason he wasn't there the first time. So right here, attack those things back at him. This is where you're going to want your extra tech points, is fighting this asshole right here. Um, like having your tech boost there. 50 right there. Amazing. Oh, God. Freaking, ah, yes. God, this is like... This is like a weirdly satisfying fight just because of how much experience you can get out of it. Just like attacking him, just like mashing the button. I don't know what it is with me and liking like slasher games. Because if you didn't notice, Kingdom Hearts, Skyward Sword, and uh, Alice Madness Returns. But not only that, I don't know if I started it yet, but Killer is dead. Like, that game is like all slasher. It's like Chainsaw Lollipop on crack. So, if we don't get a level up here, I will be slightly disappointed. Oh, and he's dead. Of course we didn't. Of course we didn't. I don't know if there's anything else to that fight other than that. Oh, we got a blazing stone! We got a blazing stone, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. We, we kicked that guy's ass, man. That was amazing. That was kind of fun. He was, of course, a bit more intimidating when we were first here and, like, ten levels ago or something like that, though. 
Uh, whatever. I was hoping that the experience ring would give us a couple more experience for that, but no big deal. We don't really need it at this point. Well, actually, we'll level our... We're level 40. We're a little under-leveled, but still. I think the level we want to be... I can't remember what one. Donald needs to be 55, and Goofy, I think, is already fine with abilities for things. Like, I can care less what else he learned. Because uh, I think the last thing Donald learns is Lucky Strike. And then Lucky Strike we get at another time. And that's going to be one of our best things that we're ever going to want is that. So, all right, we're 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 done with Halloween Town, ladies and gentlemen. Which means... I'm trying to I'm trying to think what this means now. We're done here. Okay, next time on Kingdom Hearts, we're going to head off to the Hollow Bastion, as far as I know. And I'm going to go ahead and equip Olympia, since that is what we're going to be doing next time. Ooh, yeah, I love this weapon so much. This thing is just so satisfying to use this looky at it. Wow, I've, so I've been playing... Uh, so the last time I stopped recording this was when we were here the first time. So, hey, we're ending off where we began. My name is Elsa Cruz. Hope to see you guys on the next part. One of my favorite worlds in this entire game. You guys will see why in the next part. And I hope to see you guys then. All right, happy holidays, and I guess I'll see you in the next one.